How you doing, Dangerlings? It is the Danger Master right here. Uh, I'm not going to keep you from this episode 200 goodness, badness, whichever one, for too long. But I thought you might want to know what's happening after episode 200. You see, a little while ago, we held a vote on social media and on our Discord and on our Patreon. We asked lots of people, what adventure should we play next after we've done this big thing? And I can reveal now that the winner was... The Harrowing, uh, by quite some way, actually. A lot of you wanted us to play The Harrowing. So what can I tell you about The Harrowing that's not going to spoil anything? Well, I can tell you it's written by Crystal Frazier, who is one of my favourite writers. Uh, I cannot wait to play a Crystal Frazier adventure. Uh, I can tell you it's going to take us back to the Umbra Carnival. We're going to see some of the uh, places and characters from season one of The Danger Club. But it's been a couple of years now for uh, those characters. that uh, Some things are going to have changed. It'll be interesting to see how that is. And uh, well, what else can I tell you? I'm not really going to tell you anything else about the adventure because it takes some twists and turns and I want you to come along with us and, and really, really enjoy it. Uh, so we're going to start trying to tie that into our story from when we come back after episode 200. Uh, I'm working with one of my favourite GMs from our community to convert it into Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And we are going to take the Danger Club and we're going to play The Harrowing, and I think it's going to be our best series yet. All right, let's get back to the action. Here we go. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. My name is Albert. Albert the Schloss. Can you keep again? In the very center of the lake lies the spirit of destiny. There is a tiny gnome uh, who looks like a small Gerard Depardieu. Bonjour, my friends. Shoot him in the head. Oh, <laughs> I desire a living victim. Master, he would never do that to me. I throw it into the water. <laughs> yeah, get used to that. It's going to happen a lot, baby. <laughs> yum, yum. The adventure continues. We are rolling. We're rolling. Uh, what? Oh. Whoa! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very final part of our episode 200 special. Oh, yeah. oh you better believe we're drinking. Thank you, Dangerlings, for this lovely bottle of Prosecco. Um, yeah, cheers. Yeah, thanks, yes, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Really, well, <gasps> I really appreciate it. I'm, uh, it went to oh, the time. James, oh, James, the time. Yeah. Thank you, James. Oh, thanks. Oh, so just, just move your mic, your pop shield, just a little bit away from your mic. There we go. There See, I look see. at this. Oh. Even when the Prosecco is open, we're still <laughs> we professional. So yeah, we're so playing evil characters. We're in the good. final part of, uh, of a thing where we may not play these characters again, and uh, we've owned the Prosecco. So strap in, Dangerlings. This could get interesting. I'm going to okay. pass it around here, guys, James. I'll pass it to you oh, if thanks, you want to pour a little. You should each have a glass in front of you. Oh yeah. Um, let's pass it around and and uh, and celebrate because my goodness, we deserve to. We've done <laughs> lots of these episodes not over really the glasses, last yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, we've done a, a, a sort of tumblers, we've tumblers, a whole lot. Yeah. It's mostly foam. I um. <laughs> just let that settle. It's okay. You can take your time, James. I think it's me. That's. I got to tell you about. Uh, so I went well, while I was in Canada. I uh, I went. We went on a food and wine tour in uh, in Whistler, which is a weird place. Um, <gasps> I I know people that live in Whistler. There's a lot of people that live in Whistler. It's a very strange place. Doesn't, yeah. the, doesn't the whistling tyrant live in Whistler? Yeah, the whistling tyrant. Is the the, the <laughs> whispering tyrant. The cold version yeah. of the whistling tyrant. Doesn't yeah. um, Blade live in Whistler as well? Blade no, also but, lives yeah. in Whistler. It's like a real. Really? Uh, no, he's he's. It was Chris Christopherson was Whistler, wasn't he? He was. He yeah. was. He was Whistler. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I'm sure that Blade. And uh, come on. <laughs> I think he lived in Wisdom for a yeah, while. He did, he did. He was yeah. hanging out the back of Wisdom. So, uh, so while we're on what this, a thing, nice and you know, relationship. That <laughs> if you've been on one of these, like, if you've been on one of these food tours or a wine tasting or anything like this, it's all down to, because I know fucking nothing about wine. They're like, what grape do you think that is? I'm like, mm, it's white or red, you know. Yeah. Um, and they, uh, it's all down to like the other people that are on it. So there's us and another couple. It's like, please be nice, because uh, then we can have a nice night. And they were fucking wonderful. They were fucking lovely, lovely people. Um, and we had a really nice night out. I had some extra cocktails. And during the whole time, we're like chatting about like what we do. Uh, and this guy's like, yeah, you know, I got some mates back in Toronto. I got this. We were at their wedding uh, for a friend of ours. He's kind of weird. Don't worry about it. And this, this talk about this friend who's kind of weird is mentioned like a couple of times. And uh -huh. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a that's a thing 
point we get to the end of the tour and they leave us in the bar with a load of bottles of, we get a few bottles of wine in and we are drinking through the night um, Fee goes off to the bathroom and while she's there the guy's like so what is um, he's like so what is what is Danger Club because I'm wearing my merch because that's because yeah. that's what my clothing yeah. is most of the time because I don't buy other clothes I've got leftover Patreon shirts <laughs> um, so he asked me what the, what is the Danger Club and I'm like oh you know it's a, it's a podcast we play role playing games and he's like oh that's so cool and I was like so I'm like okay I'm slightly in here I'm going to chance it I was like yeah yeah if you uh you heard of, heard of a game called Pathfinder? And he immediately just stands bolt upright and he's like, the weird guy is my GM. I've played Pathfinder every week for years. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like, that's why I didn't want to tell you about it. I thought you'd think I was weird. <laughs> we, Fee comes back from the bathroom and we're just talking excitedly and we both just turn around with a smile. I'm like, something's happened. <laughs> <laughs> so but That's weird. Pathfinder, guys. So like but, someone who played it, so he's probably been listening, talking to you and been like, that t-shirt has got a, looks like a D20 it looks like a on D20 it. It looks like a D20 and it was like, yeah. Be exactly. a 20. That is a pencil. Should I risk it? No, no, no. It could be. It could be something. It could just be like Satanism or something. It could be just that. <laughs> could, that could be a pentagram. I'm not looking at it properly. Like I'll leave him alone. It could be into Lucifer. I don't know. I, was, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. My mate Dan Thorns. He went to a wedding in Spain, and he was talking to someone, mm-hmm. and uh, he was talking. I don't know how, <laughs> no, on, but mate. it came onto the Danger Club, and he, this random guy said that he listens to the podcast. Is as well. it? Yeah. Really? That's so that guy at the wedding. Well, yeah. Yeah. Up you. are you sure it wasn't you so in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. To Nick in Canada, to your friend at the wedding, to every single one of you who's been with us on this journey for 200 Yay. plus episodes. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Cheers. 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 Let's have a sip of Prosecco. Hey. 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 I tell you what, you sip oh, and I'll keep oh, talking. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep yeah. talking. Oh, you sip. Love hey. yeah. There we go. Mm. Just so there's no dead air. There we go. I like that. And then I can wow. drink. Oh, that's nice. Have a good old quaff. That's been sitting in the fridge all recorded, Dangerous. Mm, yeah. This hot mm. weather cool is delicious. You're not drinking this. Oh, mm. it's warm in here, isn't it, eh? Because it we're is warm, warm in here. It's very warm. It's so warm. You've got a pop up. Oh, I saw it. Don't worry. It's all right. We'll talk up. over it while you fix that. Uh, <laughs> You're going to prop up the pop up, mate. Yeah. 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 What's going to happen? What's going to happen for the next 100 episodes? Who knows? Oh, we've I got think big probably plans. Probably the same thing. Big plans. It's been happening. Big plans. Oh, we've got big plans. Other what Dangerlings we... going to be like, uh, oh, so the Danger Club, I mean, with these new guys, the evil guys, have you got an evil campaign? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I said to Dan, I was like, Oh, I really like my my evil character. I really hope we meet the Danger Club so I can kill Shania and bring this guy on as my new main character. That's what I said. Honestly, wow. given the hostility from both characters, I don't know which one will be worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and down it comes to the fact that every character any of us play is always the same character, essentially. Yeah, oh, wait, let's do yeah. this again. Are we essentially playing the same archetypes as we do normally? Are we? I, 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 I mean, was, I've tried not to. It was that. my idea to actually do a sort of evil Velda, but then I started getting happy about the character. I was like, mm, hey, he's not really Velda. But he's a wizard, but he's mm. not really. But it was more it was more the necromancy side of things. It's like, how can I do necromancy? Oh, I've got to be a wizard. I guess, yeah. You've uh, already was, got, was, like, an evil wizard, so... Oh, they're oh. all evil. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was kind of the original, but then, yeah, I wandered off. Big uh, shout out to Albert as well. That is a great character. Yeah, great character. <laughs> I like I, that I've seen yeah. Albert at Cirque, I think. Has he been at Cirque? Mm, oh, no. There was a I version mean, of a German that. guy, a German guy. That was more based on Tom of Finland, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no, that is that. I, I, it, it's just the voice. Right? The, yeah, it is just the voice. Yeah. Right, I've done that. We've heard this gigs. voice, a uh, very similar voice in a uh, carbon game that we played. There was, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 quite short lived because the cut the cut. <laughs> so yeah. slightly similar ones, maybe in some of the Shania backstory episodes as well, where all the drow had slightly <laughs> sexy, dr- although you didn't yeah. have one accent. No, on that, I didn't. Did you? I wasn't like, like a drow, I was, um, I was a snuff nebulin. Um, yeah. uh, but actually, it is entirely fair, and I've kept it in canon. Uh, he's an elf. Yeah, but, uh, you won't be able to right. tell what descent of elf it was because the uh, you know d- uh, dampirism, vampirism, his skin's gone mm. white now, but it certainly did used to be a drow. So. Oh, I right. love it. Mm. Nice. It was intentional. Nice. Fly, yeah, so Fly's uh, drow accent was quite sexy. Wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, Fly was a real sexy. <laughs> that was the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to bring some of those characters back. I always oh, loved some fl- of the. Uh, fly, I, I mean, we have had the, a character brought back. I mean, it's quite hard to because like. 
canonically fr- f- like Fly certainly is dead by now he was now. dead in like, like 12 t- years later yeah, or like something yeah, time yeah. wise yeah. <laughs> he would not be still alive by now well he could be undead yeah yeah oh mate Fly could be undead, undead. the great thing about that. evil yeah. shit yeah. Yeah. you can bring people back from the dead and they can live for fucking ages yeah yeah. Oh, it's good like to Velda. Be bad, isn't it? <laughs> like Velda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, let's uh, raise a glass and say, "Rest in peace, Velda." Rest, uh, yeah. rest, rest in, in peace. Velda. 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 Finally, did something good. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> oh. imagine if someone tuned in to this and they'd missed a bunch of episodes, and then they listened to this one and it opens with that. They're like, what? "Velda, what? Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! Yeah, yeah. How did he get killed? His head yeah. got eaten by a giant fish, yes. <laughs> but he'd melted first, and a different actor was playing his voice, and." <laughs> <laughs> I've got to That's say that's the that kind head. of weird stuff that happens at episode 200 in well, shows. Yeah, Don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you lost a load of your abilities now? Uh. <laughs> yes, that's what I like. Yes, good. But it was like uh, that or lose okay. his main character. It's because yeah, it's, yeah, genuinely true. it's like, well, yeah, we did uh, put you in a bit dead. of a spot, to be fair. Yes, yeah. we're going to kill you, my friend. <laughs> yes. yes. It was very much like It's funny that I am the only living character. Yeah. The well, only living boy I mean, and uh, well, you <laughs> New yeah. Cross. I mean, it's, it's a yeah. half. I was trying vampire to figure out the, that, that so. wasn't really going to fess up to being just a half vampire. So true. So. I mean, I'm, I d- technically speaking, dampiers are living, aren't they? Is by the rules and uh, that. Yes, they are alive. They're they're not well, they, no, they have negative healing. I think, don't That's they? Right. they, they yeah, benefit so they, from negative healing. So they are. Positive. They are. They're not quite undead. Yeah, they are alive, but they're kind of they're Some they're not dead. quite alive. Question but mark. Dead. Mm. Well, I'm 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 still shady on how poppets work. Poppets are. I was willed into life. Yeah, so you a are technically you? alive. A construct. You're yeah. technically yeah, a construct. Actually, yeah. yeah, construct. So yeah. you have a spirit in you. We right. went through all the different like all the different heritages for poppets and yeah. how some of them are and there's like there's one that is like you're the soul of somebody who was once alive that has just that died and is now suddenly trapped inside a toy it's like woken up and be like oh my god yeah, man. I'm a bear <laughs> <laughs> then with, yeah that could have been fun that's very that's very, very chucky, Charles play yeah, yeah. yeah. Chucky, chucky business which I was quite into but then uh, the idea of being willed into life by someone and I thought what if it was you know the fucking whispering tyrant that's him so the whispering tyrant with his unending cruel alien crusade against all living things just went I will also have a teddy bear well yeah it was, but, it was when he was a little boy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so we're talking hundreds of I mean dollars. you didn't hear the I actually give you the rundown I, I of the ju- uh, the backstory. I joked, wrote a backstory. I, I, oh, dude, dude, dude. So so when, when, right. when I when I joked, I know. Devices. When I joked about it, yeah, he had to swap devices halfway through. But <laughs> it was a great backstory, and actually had a lots of research. Just, I was just like, you oh have my to God. listen to it. I oh, you'd have after been proud. you after you gave me that backstory. Um, first, you gave me the very sad tale of how you'd written down your whole backstory and deleted it by mistake. I know um, was that was very sad. <laughs> oh, that was very whispering I, tyrant. I did feel for you. Um, and then you then across many voice notes uh, while on the train, you you read you. You gave me your backstory, and at, at the end of it, I had to go away and do research to be on your level of the, the kind of law that you'd gone into. <laughs> yeah, I a new drum. <laughs> research the fuck out of it. <laughs> it is, and it took its killed toll. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now, and now my, hey, my dying breath. It's, it's the, it's, it was the dust from all the manuscripts he had to read, and <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's a, uh, yeah. yeah. So you've. Uh, I, you've I, I hope these characters do come back. I was going to say, because it's probably one of the uh, classic. Don't get too attached. I know, I know. But everyone puts all this effort into the it backstories. Is, I mean, I, I sort of. Mine was pretty simple die, for this guy. I don't know. Thing, it is but. fun to. <laughs> It's fun to have experience. It is also quite fun when you have a like a uh, a mini series like this where it's like, kind of like it's not the end of the world if the characters don't make it out of it. And having that kind of that sense of it, it adds a whole new thing to it. I lost someone in our in our Delta Green campaign last night. Um, one of the characters just got killed by a, an, an evil clock. Came alive, Classic. just ripped his just ripped his heart out, and we're just like, "Oh my god, death is so easy in this game." <laughs> yeah, 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 right. It's like, I mean, at, at one point, I thought that you were going to die, Stuffy, and it was like, "God, that'd be a tragic arc, wouldn't it?" So I'm like, I got made by the Whispering Tyrant, and he abandoned me. So 800 years later, I just died in a gnomish village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I tried to that. get back to him, but no, no, I failed, and that's the Cohen I mean, version that, of this story. That could well be what actually does happen but that would be an arc for the whispering tyrant he grew up and he's into teddy bears he got a bit older and now he's into action figures which are the undead oh <laughs> and they do have the kung fu grip 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's his elite troops. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got into bards because he wasn't really into toys anymore. He liked music. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He got a bit grumpy, and then he decided, yeah. "I know, I'm actually going to destroy the world." And then he, then <laughs> he and then he made a podcast because he got into his thirties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. stuff. He's just got tyrant written in really faded pen on the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You got a friend in me. <laughs> that is exactly. <laughs> it was totally inspired by Toy Story, the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Fuck, man. God. Oh, anyway. Yeah, that's what Toy Story 6 will be. What number are we up to on Toy Story 6? It doesn't matter. Toy Story 368, I think. Uh, Toy, no. Toy Story 4 is one of the best Toy Stories. It's so good. Have you watched Which it? Which one's that? I don't think I've seen them before. So no. I, see. I think I have. This Probably. is why you all need to have children, because you're missing out on so much good stuff. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> it's quite a beautiful line, but it's actually me. about TV. It's quite, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a lot of pressure there. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's, it's, not, it's not the joy of holding your child for the first time or reading the no, bedtime no, no, stories. No, 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 no. no, no. it's because you get to watch Toy Story 4. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah again yeah. and again and again. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. And the Sea Beast. And the Sea Beast. And the Sea Beast. Sea beast. That's some, some good, well, Is that on I mean, Sea Beast Beast? You've CB convinced that CBB 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 I was trying to do the gag I couldn't really get it right You did get it You did I? it man yeah. Yeah. No, yeah Right I'll have you know drum I could watch CBBs, The Sea Beast Or anything I want Alone in my house With some Chinese takeaways Some porn As recreational drugs And a lot of disposable income Have you? Nope Exactly. <laughs> no, when he says no, he doesn't mean today. <laughs> it's just really weird watching porn and the sea beast at the same because the sea beast keeps looking at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why That's you the watching? joy. I'm, I'm, I'm the beast. Why aren't you watching me? No, no. Uh, I'm not sure what else. Going <laughs> <laughs> you really weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some more per second. Yeah. Oh, no, I w- I, I, there's, there is none. It's fine. Yeah. We should do the adventure. We should. Let's jump adventure. from let's jump let's jump from porn and sea beasts to something else that's slithering all over you. Uh, there are tendrils <laughs> crawling up your legs. Um, Have they got that far already? Eagle Club. They're not like right around it, but uh, yeah, okay. you're standing in this clearing. There is an enormous, um, an enormous metal being. Bound in uh, bound in vines that we uh, do we have an idea what we think that might be? Do we think that's the world breaker or are we? Yeah, well, I yeah, think so. Yeah, yet. Cool. definitely think. Uh, and uh, but while you were here, yeah, you've seen the plant life seems to be coming alive, um, and uh, and as you are um, as you're stood there, as this plant life seems to sort of shimmer and it seems to sort of wriggle and move, some of the foliage, um, see some of the foliage detaches from the forest around and takes a step towards you and you see a tall green stemmed figure with a long um long stem going up to the top of its head uh where it's this kind of florets like broccoli um and he has big wide open eyes uh there are he's flanked by two others uh, that come from the other sides the uh the figure steps forward and goes who trespasses in our groove? Mm. Oh, h- hello. Um, uh, can I? Are you food? Yes. They all nod. Mm, ironically, we are the Goran. Not sure. Actually, you are food for anybody in this group. I'm not going to lie. What's that thing over there by the door? That is a weapon. Can we have it? No. Are you please? Sure? Can we say please? <laughs> Our people have sworn to take these things from the world. I so was... In a- in, in order to get that, do do we need? Do, do you want to fight us? Or if you if we want that, we have to fight you. Nine, my little friend. Whee! Listen, they want to be food, so we can just agree that they will be food. We chop them all up into little bits, take home a little salad, and the world breaker. Great. Sounds good. Okay, let's do this. I am lunch munch. Lunch this munch. He's my brother, son, scrumptious eyes. Ah, shit, Dan, I had to get some names in. That means they can crit us. This <laughs> yeah. is my daughter, wife, 
She is called Juicy. <laughs> we uh, were are the children of the dwarf known as <laughs> Fulton Battistone. He devoured our heart seeds long ago and deposited them beyond the mountains, complete with fertilizer. <laughs> and so we have grown and come to this place, vowing to protect it from all who would do harm. I well, that like, guy sounds like a dick. It's sort of like an unnecessary addition that you grew from dwarf shit. I feel like that <laughs> bit was... So we tell everyone we, we meet. <laughs> yeah, it's really like... Of course wow. you... I, I, I understand the, the want for a big backstory, and I think you've done very well. It's very good. <laughs> but the, the, the problem is, and he gets his hacks around, just chops into one of their faces. Oh, my God. Roll for initiative. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, natural. Ah, These things that's, get done a lot quicker that's, that's, with evil characters, don't they? Yep. <laughs> they do, yeah. Um, wow. We did not hear all the backstory. I feel like that is now our schloss. No. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is a bone of contention that we did not... Uh, oh, you see what I did because <laughs> I have the bones. Oh, yes. Albert, yeah. Albert put, pulls down his wide brim hat and tries to hide the fact that he's really seething about Skelly making a slightly better pun than him. <laughs> Going to kill you. All right. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'm using, I'm using Path Builder, guys. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, using Path Builder. yeah, yeah. Which one a paper at? Uh, but, <laughs> I, but I'm using Path Builder and it has the roll button and I still went to roll the fucking D20. No, yeah, I don't, no, I don't all, like rolling. We're all right rolling because we've got dice trays. Ross is, Ross is the only one who does do. like to roll on that. I, sometimes dice trays, I do, you know, the old... Yeah. Um, when it's, it's a 4D12 or something, I'm like, oh, I can't remember. I don't trust them to be real. <laughs> I have been, uh, I've been rolling all Bad Moon again and it's... Yeah, and he's destroyed us with it. <laughs> Stick yeah, with man. the real shit. <laughs> we're going to be going back to roll 20, I think, for the sake of the group. I love you all, Bad Moon. I'm so happy to have you back. Right, let's see what everyone has got. I feel like bad moon one day. stuffy. I feel like you uh, and you'll ch- and you'll choke, and when they try and take it out of your throat, <laughs> it'll be on a natural twenty, Colin. That's what. I'm yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that's quite dark. <laughs> Have you like, been in this room all day? <laughs> you wanted me to die. In here. That's right. Nobody wants know. anyone to die, Colin. But you come for old bad moon. You better not miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fair play. Trumbull, what have you got? 31. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I, I feel it's likely that you are going first. Albert? Uh, 21. A 21. Okay. Uh, Skelly. 29. Oh. Basco. 21. Okay. Who wants to go first? Albert and Basco. Basco. Uh, okay. No, I'm really selfish. I, will go, I will go. Well, uh, I, I will, fight I you will go fine. I will stab you until I will go I've first. got a better dexterity. How do you know this? Because I know. Yeah. Should okay, I roll let's for it? Check your fucking evil. dexterity, bitch. I'm going to find this on the fucking <laughs> this is thing. Evil party I got 16. Oh, yeah. Oh, 16. Oh, great. Oh, 16. <laughs> Yeah, I've got 18. Suck on that. All right, you Your go schloss, first. bitch. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, everyone's rolled really well. I rolled a natural one. Oh. Oh. That is a 13 on the board. <laughs> oh, oh Rat Rat yeah. Rolls like Velda. He is Ratfoot. He is Ratfoot. Rolls like Velda. Rolls like Velda. See what I'm <laughs> <laughs> you right there, mate. It was good. I, like <laughs> I was doing a... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's that. I, I was laughing because I thought other people were going to join and they didn't. <laughs> oh, and then I was like, but, oh shit. It's almost like we're all sung but, out today. But then I really wanted you to do well. Thank like you. I really did. <laughs> I did. It was doing I the, liked it. the crab people thing. Nice one, man. Crab. P- let's do it yeah. with drum to me. Crab. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Evil <okay>. party. <laughs> 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 well, Drummond, oh. sing me a song of devastation because you're up first. Okay, here comes the song of Devi. Oh, no, not defense, offense. I'm doing offense right now. Okay, so I'm um, going to rage. 
first move thing. One, yep. Obviously. Uno One action. Move. Uno action. Uno la action. Rage. Es la rage. La rage. Um, do action. Um, was I, I said that I would attack with the hatchet, you're didn't I? You're throwing the hatchets. Yeah, I threw That's the hatchet. hatchet. Okay, so make your attack. Okay. Can I just... I don't know if you've already addressed this in a previous episode. Drums... Got his actual attacks. Yeah, it's a natural twenty. Yeah, it's a natural twenty. What? Can we? Scrape. Hang on. Let's finish. Let's finish Scott's point first. What's your point? D- he's named them striking slicey chops, striking slashy fingerlings. Rage, striking returning silver hand hacking hatchet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, are that the name? Are they the actual names of the things? Uh, are- no, during during character creation, I some would say foolishly taught Drummond the rename attacks button. <laughs> <laughs> and things have gone creative from there. <laughs> I'm allowed to be creative, aren't I? Yeah, absolutely. I was just I thought that Paizo had just put these things into <laughs> no, creation. I was no, like, no, fair no. enough. They must be very specific. No, there are some. These are drummy ones versions. that are pretty drummy similar. Versions. What's they they release the drum cut. <laughs> drummy attack. <laughs> oh, drummy. Drummy attacks, and that drummy attack was what drum? Uh, natural 20, yeah. which is 36. Yeah. Oh no, because I'm raging 38. You, that, oh. The number don't matter, it's a critical okay. hit. So grab yourself, critical grab yourself a crit card. Oh, lunch munch. Um, so this is this is with the slicey chops, which is, this is bitey, the bitey. The, yeah, no, this no it's with the axe, isn't it? You're, no, you're right, it's with the axe. Um, which Still is, got the wise woman embedded in it. Which is a, which is a, <laughs> <laughs> That's okay with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so hold on, well, that would be a choppy chop. Uh, it's a slashing weapon. It's slashing that, weapon. That's what I meant. Exactly. Choppy chop. S- choppy chop. Slashing. Armor damage. The oh. target's armor also takes the damage, applying the armor's hardness normally. That's shit. We have go another one. What, they have, they don't have any. They don't have armor. Bullshit. <laughs> don't yeah. Throw the cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the mood that I'm obviously in. Uh, it's called terrible cut. Triple damage. Triple Yay. damage. That's more like it. That's what we oh, want. God. This might be a very quick fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean this. I mean this is my least effective attack, really. But I wanted to use the hatchet. Um, it's 2d8. Where's my eight? Where give me the eight? Got a couple of where's my eight? Where's my eight? Oh, where's my eight? eight? Oh, oh, where's my eight? I don't know. Okay. Wait, hold on. Yeah, five, and then it's a five. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a, it's a oh, I'm gonna have to. That's not an eight. That wasn't an eight. That I just threw. There we go. Did you get a nine on okay. a D8? Is that what <laughs> yeah. happened there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, it was a 10. Oops. Okay, so um, it's a five and a three. Um, it's eight. Plus six. Eight plus um, six. Times three. Five. Okay, 14. Is it four, 14 times 14 three? 14 times so 14. 42. 14. 42. 42. Ah, the answer to everything yes. in the world. And the mouth of mm, the council. Yes, come on. It's committed to committed. the age of most of us. Right. <laughs> Jack slams <laughs> into lunch munch. <laughs> ah! He waves his hands around the axe embedded in his in his in his delicious looking flesh. Did 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 you enjoy that? Was that nice for you? Was that good? You kind that? of. Uh, really? And it then rips itself free free and flies back to your hand. It's a returning axe, right? Yes, it's returning. Yeah, it yeah. flies back to your hand. <laughs> Great. With a load of bit of good lunch stuff. still on it. Uh, so he then licks that. Right. You mm. cut your tongue. <laughs> mm, there is no tongue. Oh, yeah. I don't have a tongue. You cut your face. I licked it with my fur. You just I wipe it on fur. your face. I wipe it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ross. That's for clarifying. You got one That's action left. What's going down with the fire? Um, uh, well, how close are you in? Am I in melee? No. no. It is. Uh, it, Not you need melee. to move if you want in to. In that case, melee. I'm going to raise my shield. You raise that shield up. Uh-huh. Oh, defensive raging bear. Yeah, because defensive bears are smart bears. The next person up is Skelly. I'm going to cast Grim Tendrils. Oh, uh, no. Have an innate spell, so I'm going to class cast this, and it all got to... You know how it works. You've got Grim Tendrils works. before, then you're right. Yeah. All right. What are they? Uh, what are they rolling? Now, that's a good question because I haven't got a spell attack roll. Okay. Uh, 
because it's an innate spell. It just comes with my class. Yeah. So okay. do you know what I roll? Because this I, is a I, good what is the, I should have. Do they have to roll? Do you have to roll to hit with Grim Tendrils? Or? Uh, I don't think so. No, then, I think then it's that just won't one matter. of those things. So you. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Yeah. So uh, critical. Uh, you have to roll a a fortitude save. Fortitude save. What's yes. the area on it? 30 foot line 30 foot line yeah. okay cool so anything in front of me in 30 feet uh, how many actions is it to cast two actions two actions so you've got enough actions so you can move and hit all three of them with it excellent well that's what I will do alright so you cast Grim Tendril so this is going to be against your class DC Lunch Munch gets a dirty 20 my class DC uh nope they fail um the um scrumptious eyes Gets uh, a 21. Fail. And Juicy gets a 22. Failure. Oh, they all fail. They all take full damage. Go ahead. Give it some damage. So it's 2d4 and then persistent bleed damage. Uh, Sorry, no, sorry. It is uh, my mistake. I should have got this up. Um, 2d4 negative damage and one persistent bleed damage damage okay here we go so they get one that's not very good three four negative damage and then one persistent persistent bleed so it's not amazing but they get they get four nice negative damage. okay and they've got the and they be, and they're all bleeding <laughs> yep there we go Jeez. bleeding vegetable juice bleeding presumably oh like when you leave it in the vegetable tray for yeah. too long exactly oh, yeah. Yeah, that one yeah you haven't cleaned your food bin out in a while yeah. and there's that water underneath you pick yeah. out a yeah. cucumber Ooh. from the back and you try and chop off the front oh. the back end splits in your hand and green goo comes out oh it's, it's awful isn't it oh mate it's, it's time for Juicy to have a go Juicy steps uh, Juicy strides forward oh and as she comes close to you, I need everyone to make a uh, will save, please. Everyone. Everyone. Will save. Make everyone. A will save. Okay. She gets close to you all. 16. 16. It's a fail for Basco. Good. Oh, for fuck's sake, 15. 15 is a fail for the leech. 26. 26 is a pass. Thanks. 30. One. It's a critical success for Skelly. It's a natural schlossing twenty. Ah, oh, and it's a critical success for good old the sh- for the schloss. Uh, so uh, schloss and um, and Skelly, uh, you are unaffected by this and you are completely immune to this for the rest of the fight. Basically, you don't have to worry about. Right. Well, how lovely. Uh, you don't have to worry about this at all. However, um. And oh, and uh, and actually, so are uh, so is Stuffy. Stuffy, you're immune to this. You managed to shake off your effect. However, Basco, appropriate for Basco, and the Leecher, maybe appropriate for the Leecher. You are distracted by how unbelievably delicious mm-hmm. the Gorans smell this close up. <laughs> how delicious they look. How much you just want to eat them up. Um, for the next <laughs> round, you are flat-footed and you are fascinated by Juicy. So you could only f- you could only focus your attention on Juicy. You don't have to sit and do nothing because um, she's going to be attacking. So you can so the fascinate kind of breaks. Um, but you are you are obsessed with wanting to eat <laughs> this, uh, and you have a minus two to your armor class because you are off your game uh, because of how hungry you are for uh, for Juicy's juicy gore and flesh. Like when you can't talk to a lady that you love very much. Yeah, exactly like yeah. that. Exactly yeah. like that. And you want to eat her. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Whoa, though. man. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is getting a bit of... I love the, uh, mm. I love I the Gorans so much because eat. they're... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're becoming a playable ancestry in one of the upcoming books. You're going to be able to eat play one oh, of these, yeah. edib- one of these eat, delicious play. guys. Eat, eat, play. Play game. Sleep. Eat, play, eat, love. play, sleep, right? <laughs> So you just walk around saying, eat me. <laughs> eat me. Eat me. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, flails at Basco with um, nothing, near a, nothing near a hit, like a 18, um, with one of the fronds, and then flails with another frond. No, you will never stop us. And misses again. Just kind of whapping against your face with <laughs> leaves. Oh. 
Oh, whapping. Oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> they just whap off on his face. Wizard. Whapping on the face. And Patreon. <laughs> oh, it's Albert's girl. Okay, so playing a gunslinger, reading this, I think okay with sword and pistol. Um, okay. Also, uh, a couple of feats, which is both into the fray and quick draw, which mean I'm just like the katana and pistol are like so already in my hands between those two feats. It's just a joke. They're like, <laughs> um, I'm gonna. How far away are the? Uh, so Juicy is about 10 feet from you. The other mm. two are about 20 feet from you. Mm. Juicy, 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 juicy. Just going to... It gonna, was all a dream. Just going to... Sh- <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Uh, that was worth it. Uh, Cole, how much was the bleed damage, by the way? Was it one again? Uh, yeah, it's one. One, one okay, cool. yeah. That's fine. I thought he was going to give me a hero point for bringing I up Biggie. Keep- <laughs> <laughs> by the way, hero point, Biggie Smalls. Yeah. yeah. I think if I've got this right, there's a couple of options you can use the sword uh, and pistol ability um, yeah. with the gunslingers. So I'm going to use it to get into combat, um, which just seems like normal. Um, so I'm going to take a shot mm-hmm. with the striking dragon mouth pistol at Juicy. Okay. To start off with, I'm going to roll it here. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, hang on. oh yeah, because you like there. you draw your gun as part of the initiative action, don't you? As yeah, yeah. So that's that's already fun. in hand. Ah, uh, now it's only a twenty to hit. A 20 to hit is a hit. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. I think this is a boss fight. Um, interesting. Okay, cool. Great. Pow. <laughs> Albert's got his fangs out. <laughs> um, that is two of these. Oh, God. I just turned that over. So that's a th- th- 13. 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. Bam! Juicy's head goes sideways and Juicy hits the ground. (gasps) Oh. Wow. Oh, Oh, okay. Splat jam. Oh, damn. Okay, am I using my... Okay, well, hang on. I don't don't know if this now applies to separate people because the Drifter's Duke does, but I'm not sure a sword and pistol... Against that enemy. Okay, so sword and pistol with it doesn't work, but Drifter's Duke... Hang on. Uh, Step strike, step strike. Uh, choose not to okay it doesn't say uh, no I don't think that matters either way um, I'll just because uh, I need to reload no I don't need to reload because I've got a feat called running reload which means you can reload your weapon on the move I need to step so though. you move but you can reload it as you can move and reload for one action great so That's I took good. a shot 10 foot she's dead move towards her step yeah Reload. That's yep. a, that makes that That's a free action. Yeah. Kachik. An unearthly dragon mouth just goes, crunches it back in place. Um, and I whirl round. Who's now in range? Uh, you've got Lunch Munch and Scrumptious Eyes. Not within melee range, though, are they? I'm just going to take not another shot. They're not in melee shot. range. No. I'll, just, I'll just take another shot. Okay. It'll be a five minus, won't it? Uh, which means there's only a plus 12, making this uh, 24 to hit. Four. Is that against Lunch Munch or the uh, or the other one? Um, which one was flapping at Basco? Uh, that's the Juicy. one. That, that's the one you just shot. That's oh. the one you just killed. Okay. Um, which one? Lo- Lunch like- Munch looks really badly hurt. That's mm-hmm. the one that got the axe thrown in his chest. Oh, okay, cool. I'll shoot that one. Okay, uh, that's a hit. <laughs> uh, which is a uh, eleven points. Eleven points of damage. Still alive. Just. <gasps> Father, save us. Okay. Um, Did you say flounder, save us? <laughs> no. Flounder. Was that, was that little, a little mermaid, mermaid reference? Right. They're saying Fajra, save yeah. us. Like they're reaching out to the oh, Fajra. Okay, Fajra. Yes, okay, but yeah. the Fajra is not around and it is delicious. Speaking there, Father, Basco Mops. Me. Uh, okay. I could. Yeah, I will use. Searing Light Um, My level 3 spell Yeah You shoot a blazing light of ray Light of ray? (laughs) Light of ray (laughs) Fuck me (laughs) So hard Ray Winston Ray of light Tinged with holy energy Make a ranged spell attack The ray deals 5d6 fire damage If the target is a fiend or undead You deal an extra 5d6 And does it come out of Madonna's chest cavity? 
Special rare oh, lights. 26. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Orbital. Orbital taught her that trick. 26. 26 is a hit. It's a critical hit. Uh, uh, this is on the one that's not as damaged. Sorry, as I didn't, damaged. Okay. didn't yeah, say. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, that is not a crit. Okay, cool. I thought you were going to say that's not a hit. Then. No, I was like, it's, oh. a, it's, it's definitely a hit. It's not. A crit. It's quite close to a crit, but it's not quite. 18 points of searing light oh! damage. Can I just check? Sorry. Uh, when I shot um, the second uh, one, yeah. was, that, was that Lunch Munch? That was Lunch Munch. Was, who, who else was in five feet of it? Uh, scrumptious Size was next to him, yeah. Okay, they, the, the Scrumptious Size takes two points of scatter damage because the Dragon Mouth Pistol has a scatter effect. Oh, I like that. Nice. Sick. Then they are both looking pretty badly hurt. Uh, that was two actions. I've still got one. Hmm. You can't. I can't shoot my crossbow, can I? Uh, not for. Uh, you'd need to draw it to be able to shoot it. Okay, I will just. Oh, actually, oh no, it's two. Uh, I will withdraw. You move back a bit. Yeah. Okay. Withdraw. Very good. Scrumptious eyes goes after the leecher. Nom 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 nom. Miss. Nom nom nom. Miss. Nom 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 nom. That's definitely a miss. Well, that's, that's definitely a miss. <laughs> <laughs> With that pause, man. It yeah. was. Uh, it was. Like, I think it'll be a natural Ooh. twenty, or it's going to be missed. No, it's. Uh, oh. It, and actually, it doesn't have a third attack anyway because he's got to move in. So it's yeah. double miss. It moves in on the leech yeah. and just flaps away at you. You ain't no front. good, you piece of celery. Flip, flap, 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 flap. the leeches go. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, take a step back and be like, bad celery. And I cast Admonishing Ray. Um, celery does go a bit floppy, doesn't it? It like does go bad. a bit floppy. Yeah. It's a bit, bit, bit not very nice. Shame, isn't um, it? Yeah, so it's going to be an, a spell Feel attack, I believe. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is this rolling about? Jesus Christ. It might still be a hit. Uh, that is 19. A 19 still a hit. <laughs> okay. Admonishing Ray. Uh, it's it's non-lethal, but it does bludgeoning damage, so no. it's not going to be okay. so at the end of him. And... I'm going to take the celery alive. I can choose how it's going to be. It's going to be like a fucking massive bitch slap. I'll be like, stop it. And uh, do six points. Oh, oh, no, hang on. What's my spell attack bonus damage? It's my uh, intelligence modifier, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you think probably I'd do this? five? Uh, where's it going? I've got never played this fucking game. Um, yeah, let's say five. That's just ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. All right, it's still alive. Stop then. You slap him around the face with force, and it staggers backwards, coming back around to Stuffy. Oh, hello. Um. How many of them are there left? There are two left. There's there is Lunch left. Munch, who looks really badly hurt because you critted him with a throwing axe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, and there uh-huh. is Scrumptious Eyes, who looks really badly hurt because he's been hit with <laughs> loads of spells. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to grab Lunch Munch. Okay. Uh, and try and tear him in half. Okay. Tear it in half. Give, me a, uh, give me a, what about a claws attack. Okay. Give me a claws attack. I'll do the, do the old claws attack, you know. Just to check. I give him the claws. I give it a claws. Give him the bloody claws, mate. Okay. That's. Uh, What's this say? Twi- it's, it's 27. 27's a hit. Roll some okay. claw damage. Let's do a little bit of claw. You managed to kill. Claw. Give me the way. Where's the. Oh, this is. Uh, Get that bloody claw on. Right. It's a bloody Get in the. Uh, get the claws oh, and dumb. One. <laughs> And that's seven, okay. so eight. Bloody um, eight. Plus eight. eleven, of course. So nice one. Grab a hold of lunch months. Oh, and, and plus two because of the rage. Isn't oh, it? so it's twenty-one. Great. There's a great and satisfying snap of fresh broccoli as you grab a hold of the stem and just crack the stem in half and rip Lunch Munch in two pieces. You would him. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, that that exactly. That's right. That's a correct 
way to react to being oh, dead. All I beg then, is please do not eat my seeds. Well, I, I, I will if you're not careful. I've got a whole Woody Allen thing going on, and I'm not afraid to use it. Ironically, um, the uh, drum didn't have any tender stem broccoli. I, yeah. Yeah. I wanted that tender stem broccoli There was none at Nando's. So really. much. I wanted it too, yeah. Man. Anyway, um, and then uh, take a look at the one that's left. What's it called? Scrumptious uh, eyes. Scrumptious eyes. Scrumptious eyes. And I use my intimidating glare and all my intimidating prowess and say, Do you want to end up the same way or will you let us have your work <laughs> With my big... Nice. nice. Give me an Did intimidate. You pussy in that? I just... I, I heard what you, you heard Jesus. what you wanted yeah. to hear. Wow. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. Jesus... It was no, no, it was no, just not projecting onto drum. <laughs> no, Drum's character no, voices are like a magic eye painting for the ears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's not. He's not Jesse Ventura. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let your eyes go funny, and then yeah, see what happens. It's under skills, drum. <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah, no. where everyone got magic eye books and we're all sat there at Christmas oh, Day so going, yeah. making our eyes go funny? Oh, the okay, 90s. Fucking 90s. Twenty-eight on my intimidation. Twenty-eight. Oh, it's twenty-six. No, no, no. It's twenty-eight because I get plus two because of a thing that you haven't seen. You don't know what my character is. It's 28. He's actually right. He is yes, actually. I am right. I'm slagging you off, mate. He, uh, <laughs> says 16, so. I'm what about so the answer? Right. Couch sheet being nothing. He's yeah. having for a mug, son. Yeah, he's uh, having a go, you mate. Just Intimidates. Right there, so. It's only available when he's raging. That's why it doesn't yes, pop up exactly. on the sheet. Yes, exactly. Don't just press raging. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe I could, but I didn't get it. Well, let's. All right. Thanks. Well, let's hear what Well, now I'm intimidated as well. Let's hear what Scrumptious Eyes has to say. Scrumptious Eyes are. And starts to panic. Um, that was worth it. Fl- lashing worth out it. at everything around it. Right, it was pretty good, wasn't it? That was it? good. I like that. Um, you, you do panics broccoli very well. Thank you. <laughs> Four years. Four years studying drama. Skelly! Oh, we've still got ghosts. Oh, we didn't get no information. No, there was well, yeah, he start, He scared. screams and then immediately tells you all of the plot. Okay. No, he doesn't know. He's just he's <laughs> oh. terrified, but he's also okay. surrounded and uh, and has I've no reason another, to believe you'll let him live. So. Okay, now listen. To you. Okay, uh, uh, you uh, you attacked, you intimidated. Attacked okay, yeah, you've got one other action. I've got another action. Okay, cool. Okay, what's your other um, action? <laughs> in that case, well, tear him apart. Use my other action. Okay, well, do you know that. right now you what you didn't know what you were going to do, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't well, know what I was going to do. Let's do Skelly's go and we'll come back fine, to you if you, if, you, if you think of what you want to do for your so other There's just that one left, there's isn't one it? left. And he's screaming. He's screaming. Now listen here, stop stop screaming, you. You, hey, I said stop stop the screaming. You, stop it. Ah, ah, right, listen, listen, ah, listen. Ah, you can walk out ah, of here with your little ah, green life. I said, hey. Hey! Hey! Look at me! Look at me in the eyes! Oh, mine schlossing god, just kill it. Listen here, you can walk out of it here with your life. Or you can uh, give us the weapon. Now, intimidation. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was shit. Uh, 15. 15. Oh. He's also intimidated by a thing. He is also intimidated by him, but he, so he's carried on being shaken. Uh, 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 Give us the weapon. Uh, he wilts and just faints on the floor. Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, I stamp on him <laughs> you stamp on the and like kind of put him out like a cigarette. You feel? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! You stamp on scrumptious eyes um, until it stops. Uh, until it stops moving. I think it was uh, the best thing, don't you think? Let's hey, just take. Put, him, put uh, him out of yeah, his yeah, Let's yeah. just take the weapon and uh, you probably know. for the best. That's right. Uh, I've heard they're like a superfood, so yeah, and that's full of iron. Do you want to eat it? Oh. A, uh, I don't think they're actually that full of iron. Albert just takes out the pistol, puts it down, shoots it. Gets, <laughs> now they're a bit more full of iron. I see what you did. Third <laughs> action. I thought I'd another potion. Uh, yeah, okay, yes, you drink another the same potion. Thing, actually, isn't it? The um, I didn't know that. You pour a bad product to do manufacturers. The room. We got mad. Straight. The glade goes very. Very cold. Oh, um, it has got cold. With the, uh, um, with the destruction of that, right and to the bones. A, a shim, uh, a shimmering white and blue light seems to uh, seems to appear in the air on one side of it uh, that coalesces into a frosted pane of ice uh, standing tall in the room and it seems to reflect for a moment before it turns slightly translucent uh, and you see on the other side swirling purple mists um, and after a moment. A floating head with shaggy hair hanging down from it (laughs) floats through the portal, flanked by a rotting owlbear 
um, and a tall skeleton in armor walking on either side as they step through the portal. Uh, the portal kind of shat- simmers for a minute and then shatters and falls to pieces. Um, f- the floater hovers in the air in front of you. All right, you slags! <laughs> ah, yes, floater. How you came you? at the right mm-hmm. time. Yeah, oh. we ha- we, we, we've done we've done what we need to do. That we have the thing. We have found the weapon. That we the we have breaker. completed our mission. The wall breaker. Yes, the most deadliest of weapons who was ever created by the hands of man. That is Wait, correct. Excuse me, uh, floating persons. Ca- oh, uh, how are you doing? I did not meet you. I met the seeker. Uh, but. Could you teleport here the entire fucking time? Yes! I could teleport anywhere I wish to. What's a fucking schloss? Well, he is evil. Listen, he will I'm incredibly you. evil! There you go. <laughs> How did you know that... I we once went- had bite a cat! <laughs> I made out with my girlfriend at a funeral of people we didn't know. <laughs> and she's significantly younger than I am. Oh. Not legally, you mind, but it's just a bit weird. Yes, because a bit I'm weird. evil. How many thousands of years are younger than you, are they? Oh, it's what's your age uh, divided by two <laughs> plus a millennia. Uh, it doesn't matter what that was. People were outraged by it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I did a shit in the corpse's mouth. Oh, Wait. Uh, <laughs> that escalated quickly. That yeah, really did. Yeah, straight yeah. to the shit. Eh? Everything, everything escalated. So hold everything on. Everything escalated. So you could happens. have just. Why didn't you just bamf off here, here if you knew where it was? Oh, I've been tracking you from the Isle of Terror. We didn't know where the world breaker was, but I could follow you, watching for the mists that I create, and see where you went. And oh. now you've let me here. You created the, the, the mists. The mystery. The mystery. You. The, the, the that you did that. No, not those mists. My own mist. Oh, your own mist. Keep mists. up! Everyone's miss- got mist these days. <laughs> I miss your mist. Look, we have got you. What the what? What the mm-hmm. uh, whispering, whispering tyrant? tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> have take. Can he take me to my friend now, please? Fan bloody tastic! You slags are not the worst people I've ever met, as it were. And that makes you the worst people I've ever met. Because the only people I ever like are the worst people I meet. God. Because I'm dreadful. Evil is so complex. It is, isn't it? So yes. difficult it's to really hard to I'm drag a on. multifaceted really. character. I once slapped a corgi. You were, <laughs> <laughs> you'd think that was hard without hands, but life finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. you, you definitely have uh, lots of layers there, Floaty. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, a pre- I'm hoping a that I'll become onion. a recurring NPC. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You are the no. onionist of onions. I cut you and I cry. What, what, what now? Yeah, making people cry is my favourite thing to do. But oh, I've gotten tired of my place. I've gotten tired of living around in that tower, sending people off on stupid missions. So I'm very much looking forward to the reward I get when I bring the world breaker back to the whispering tyrant. Wait, 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 wait! wait, wait. Are you gonna? You're you're not gonna tell us. He's gonna gonna betray us. He's gonna betray. He's gonna kill us. Fucking piece of shit! You fuck! Fuck you! He throws a knife. Oh shit! shit, My face. Get him, boys! So, uh, can't help it. Roll for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrap this up in yeah. ten minutes. Obviously. Yeah, it's going to be a quick fight. And this time my roll was not as good. This roll was actually pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Key question, though, quickly. Yeah. Am I still uh, fascinated and flat-footed? You are not. No, you can take those off. Yeah. 29. You were able to eat. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got a 29 for the got stuff. 29. Uh, I'm really glad I chinned my last. 29 for me as magic well. Magic shit. Oh. Yes. Uh, I will. That's go good. Fast. You did that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, well, no, because he threw he threw the thing. Oh, okay. He threw. He threw. <laughs> <laughs> he threw. Uh, no, actually, no they're not doing any short sure right? flights at the moment. How about Albert? <laughs> 22. 22. Terminal 5. Terminal 5. Yeah. How about Skelly? Uh, he got the 17. Okay, and how about the leech? 22. Oh. 70. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> hey, that is a cousin of mine. <laughs> yeah. A cousin of mine. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, we love very how similar. How many cousins do you have? Yeah. I have five cousins. Ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> for the last one, I am evil. <laughs> Uh, no, that is weird. <laughs> it is weird. First one to act is the floater. Oh, okay, shit. floater. And he flies around shit. and he targets Basco. What the? F- with his incessant goading. Oh, <laughs> you stupid little dog. Oh, I'll punch you right in your wrinkles. Why can't you even breathe properly? Oh, shut me up, your nasal passages. <laughs> and I'll pour out your winkle. Hey. What? Incessant go- Is that a thing? Incessant goading? Incessant goading. I oh, need my a, God. I need a will save from Basco Mops. Jesus. To be unaffected by his <laughs> incredibly annoying banter. 18 18 ah, that's a fail you slag mm, you're on. flat footed for one round oh, for fuck. we were in an episode of like Dark Souls but now we have transitioned to the Mighty Boots <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yes they are you know very close in some ways uh, you can't tell it but they, the owlbear's wearing an incredibly racially insensitive costume underneath all those feathers <laughs> it's all very mighty bush right now it's from another time <laughs> yes the the late 2000s <laughs> it was a different world <laughs> a, a diff- such a different world <laughs> oh, no, I'll be presenting the bake off after this <laughs> yes, yes, tell yes. where I'm going to be Stuffy it's your go Oh shit! I'm stuffy. <laughs> that right? Be, yeah. I think we're all stuffy. Yeah, I know. No, I know. I know where I am. I'm. Uh, I so I threw my thing at you, right? I, did I do that? You do. You threw the. I thing did. I, I threw it at you. So I should probably, um, you know, do my attack with that. I guess. Um, oh, it's it's thirty thirty two. In fact, to hit. Uh, thirty two is a critical hit. Oh, well, that's beautiful. I'm gonna, just gonna. Oh, oh no. no! I can't take one of those if it's not a. Not if it's ten a, over. No, it's okay, just double. It's just damage. a double. Okay, I'm just gonna double. Fuck you over here. Um, whoop! Ah, that's three. That's eight. You guys should have been really then, suspicious when there was two uh, NPCs we do, uh, that we were do giving us quests. Like, so no, eight, they were next. And that's the float. So that's like 12. Yeah, and then 24 uh, points. Yeah. 24 of points damage. of damage. And then the, the hacking hatchet comes back to my hand. And I go, ha ha ha, fuck you. Oh, you'll be right in my, you'll be right in my noggin. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm going to bite you in your noggin, you piece of shit. Oh, I'd like to see you try. I'm going to right now. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's getting more and more like Shania. He's, he's, getting, getting, more more he's getting more and more like Shania. However, <laughs> I need to point one thing out. What? He's flying. He's about 15 feet uh, up in the air. You are one foot tall. Okay, that's not going to He might as well have been in space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like the International Space Station up there somewhere. <sighs> there's, a, yeah, there's an owlbear and there's a skeleton. What, uh, what? There's a what? And a there's what? an owl bear and there's a skeleton. Owl bear, bear. massive owl. Oh, uh, an owl bear. Yeah, th- sorry, not owl bear. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I thought you were talking about him. No. Okay, an owl bear. An owl bear. Okay, and and that's close to me. That's close to you. Yep. All right. Can, I'm just going to try and, and attack bite on that. that thing, okay, you then. bite the, the owl bear. <laughs> Gets a natural one, so that's. Oh, hit. that would be a fumble! A fumble for the stuff stab. Um, Please go and have yourself a blue fumble. card. Decapitation, 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 um, decapitation. decapitation. And it was with this thing, which is thingy thing. Um, so. Pick it up, pick it up, Drop the weapon you used for the attack, and it lands 1d6 times five feet away from you and <laughs> literally makes no difference yes. it's a returning act <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hooray for fumbles you drop your, cl- drop your act it immediately fires back Shling, to your head. <laughs> oops well, a daisy well that wasn't so bad the next one to act is the big skeleton I've got another attack haven't I uh, no because you no, had to move three. to attack you, you threw your axe you moved over to the uh, owlbear and you oh uh, I didn't I didn't think I'd moved I thought he was right next to me no they, but they don't just appear immediately next to you <laughs> they, they are... but I thought okay fine <laughs> I'm happy move on <laughs> you don't sound happy yes Sounds Dan unhappy. you can move on now okay. it's fine, fine. Dan. I'm allowed to move on outrageous the big skeleton uh, the big skeleton is going to go straight after uh, it's going to go straight after Albert clanks over 
sword in hand. Oh, it's a machete. Mm, very nice. Uh, that is a 38 on the machete attack. Yeah, this is a hit on me. Uh. <laughs> it gets it with the machete. That must be a crit, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, 24. So, yeah, he's so a crit. Oh, right. oh sorry. Sorry, I mean... <laughs> no, it's nah. okay. I try. I was going to kill a character earlier, so... <laughs> this is entirely fair. Evil, evil. It's great. Love it. Hey, it won't be. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, that is... 16 points of... Da- oh, no, it's doubled. So, uh, that is 32 points of damage. <laughs> Is it machetes you? And then, uh, 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 and then uh, it can't do most of its abilities because you're not alive. <laughs> it then looks over at Basco and walks over to where Basco is holding its machete. Oh, uh, so walking reaction, away from me. If, if you have an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I did not pick that feat. Okay. Couldn't not allow Gunslinger. <laughs> no. Gunslinger, not famous for having attack oh, of opportunity. Oh, oh, hold on, how many actions has he got? He's got three. So he's walked over to him, smacked him, and now he's walking over to Basco. And then he can't attack Basco. Yeah, so that's that's right. Right. Yeah. 200 games, everyone. Yeah. 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 Finally got the rules. Finally He's beginning to believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Albert, it's your go. Ah, He's going to regret wait. walking away from you. <laughs> Al- I thought it was me first. No, it was me. No, because, because he's got the high decks. bitch about this. We no, because I went. I got, got the higher ground. I got 21. We I got decided. It's over. He's, he's got, got the higher ground. He's got no, the higher decks, Anakin. He's got the higher decks. No, I got the same as Drum. Don't do it, Anakin. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. I definitely did. I literally went, oh, you go first because you threw the axe. You are never having Prosecco again. You know what's happened here? Yeah, we've got two initiative rounds mixed up. No, I just didn't write you on the initiative tracker at all. I went after Drum. I can guarantee Go on, you. have your go. Have your go, Basco. You got big really? Okay. I didn't say anything. It was these guys. I was right. just happy to steal a go. <laughs> Don't do <Bas-> it, Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> Basco stands forward and goes, You were supposed to be my brother. Uh, this is the first time I've come back to using pen and paper and look yeah, at this fucking shit show. <laughs> Rain, Man dyslexic <laughs> Rain Man Dyslexic. Rain Man. So I'm going to... Is there a way I uh, can get all three of them in a in a row? Uh, all three of them in a row. You could probably get two of them in a row. Okay, I'll go for th- two of them in a row. Uh, you can get the like you can get the owl bear and the uh, you can get the owl bear and the thing, but because floaters up in the air, you'd have to. Angle Don't worry, I got a plan it. for him later. All right, nice. Uh, here we go. Okay. I'm going to use Radiant Beam. Uh-oh. You fire a beam of blinding light from your outstretched hands. The beam deals 5d10 good damage. <laughs> On a failed save throw, a creature becomes dazzled for one round or dazzled for four rounds on a critical fail. So, yeah, I it doesn't say, like... That you don't take the damage, right? I love like, that he's still got the. Uh, so do, do, do you have to it make? It says a, basic th- reflex. Basic reflex. So they're going to make a. They're going to try and make a reflex uh, against you. Skeleton's got pretty good reflex. Uh, oh, it's not a great roll though. That is going to be a. Uh, it's a D twenty five. Twenty three. Yes. Doesn't beat. Doesn't beat. Um, and I think the zombie owl there is going to struggle to beat that. It's only a tw- dirty 20. So yeah. So it fail. So full damage. Dirty. 5d10, baby. Oh, Jesus. 5d10, baby. Let, that's not... 5D that's 10. D, the 12. I don't have one. I'll have to use the, the app. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is 20 points of damage to both of them. Ooh, I'm blinded by the light. Uh, and they are dazed for one round. Ah! Both of them are kind of staggering around. Heavenly heights. I like that Basco's kept all of his like holy spells, even though he's evil. Yeah. He's still yeah. got the power yeah. of good. He's, he's got boy. unholy spells. Do no. awful things. Are you doing anything with your third action? Uh, I just move away a okay. little bit. Nice. Now it is Albert's go. Yeah, fucking hell, it's a skeleton bastard shitbag. Um, so, uh, if I've got this right, I've got a combination of uh, the sword and pistol and the drifter's duke and um, reloading strike. Uh, so, 
with uh, Wuna Katana bringing it up uh, Albert's holding it like downwards so he's bringing it up like an uppercut kind of nice. thing nice um, getting a 33 to hit with a Katana oh on the uh, skeleton yeah yeah I'll do it shink bitch um that would be uh it's not gonna it's, it's fucking use the wounded katana against a fucking skeleton so unfortunately it's not gonna bleed um that's only a seven points of slashing and i'm presuming it can't bleed uh it cannot bleed cannot bleed skeleton. very well well i still get to move away okay raise the pistol and thanks to sword and pistol I uh, don't trigger an attack of opportunity by moving away amazing okay. um, so just duking right out right out the way just whoosh, uh, lifting up the pistol and because I hit with a melee attack first I get to use reloading strike okay which automatically reloads my pistol from the last time when it wasn't loaded so I get to make an attack with that oh my god Ka-chunk. this will be Gunslingers are insane. Your schloss, um, which would be a twenty-seven to hit. Twenty-seven is going to be a hit as well. Great, pal. Uh, oh, it's not so good. Um, that would only be a, a, a nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing damage. The pow. skeleton is looking rough. As you, as you hit it a bunch of times. You stab it. You back off. You shoot it. And you, I guess you reload again. Uh, I've got one action left. You've got one action left. Reload, or I could move away. How far away am I away from it? Uh, you're right. Uh, you, uh, how so far you could get with your movement back with your. Uh, okay, okay, great. Uh, am I near anything else? Uh, it's up to you. You can be near. It's an empty grove. You could move over to the others. You can move towards the Albert, or you can just move into clear ground. Away Definitely from not it. moving towards the Albert. Uh, I'll just move away, and I'll use my last action to reload. Okay, you reload. We come around to the leecher. Uh, okay, I'd like to do a knowledge arcana check. Okay. Uh, just to see. Okay, that is 29. 29. Uh, to see what level the Albert and the skeleton are at. Ah, oh, what level they're at. Yes. I can tell you a little bit. Should probably be divine by those, but fuck it. Um, uh, the skeleton is level 8. Oh. Uh, the Albert is level 3. Ah. I oh, know I shouldn't give it all for what two creatures That's for one right. but we're, it's episode two hundred. We're in there. No, we're in here. Uh, so the yeah, so the uh, it, so the leecher uh, looks at the album and is like, mm, always fancy myself a bear, <laughs> and he casts <laughs> bind undead. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're mine now, bitch. Ooh. <laughs> so. Uh, don't attack the owlbear. He's on our side. The owlbear <laughs> turns hungrily towards the others. Go on now, go sick him, boy. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. It's the zombie owlbears go next. <laughs> magic. <laughs> fuck, um, literally magic. <laughs> yeah. Love literally, it. Literally love it. lovely magic. I like to raise the dead. The zombie owlbear. Uh, makes a successful <laughs> athletics check to hurl itself up into the air, beating its owly wings, and takes a bite at the floater. Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> oh, bad bad moon. Moon. Now bad is moon. rolling, rolling for us, well. People. Now for bad moon. Holy what shit. we needed. I think actually, episode two hundred. This might be the first time old bad moon has ever rolled for us. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness! Taste your Jumps own. up, bites a hole, takes a bite out of the floater, and kind of hangs off it for a bit. Woo! Before falling back down to the ground. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, get off me, you stupid owl! Ow! Oh, shit! Uh, Skelly, it's okay, your go. Okay, it's bon upon bon. Here we go. <laughs> so he's running up to the skeleton okay. to attack them. Uh, he's going to use flurry of blows. Flurry blows and key strike. Key strike. Ooh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Here we go. So let's make two strikes. That is uh, that one is um, uh, it's a twenty-one. A twenty-one's a hit. Okay. All right. So the damage on that is going to be. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Plus uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's plus six as well. So that's tw- uh, that's uh, fourteen points of damage. Okay. On the first one. Nice. Second one is it's a good one. That's twenty. Uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven's a hit. Five. No, no, because it's flurry of blows. Oh, cool. Oh, you're monk. Flurry of blows. Yeah, man. Oh, okay, cool. So there we go. <laughs> and that is seven. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 points 17 of damage. 17 points of damage. It's still up. All right. And now I've got two more. Two so I'm going to go. This so is this a minus five. All right. That is not going to hit. That's okay. 11, 24. That's 19. 19. No. no 19. Good. And the last one. 
Nah, that's not going to hit either. Bam, 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 bam. Trying to lay in. Wham, bam, thank you, bone. <laughs> bam, bam, flam, flam. Mmm. Uh, all right. It's floaters go. Oh, you. Oh, you shitbags. Oh, I'm going to... What am I going to do? Oh, am I going to have you? He flies down at Basco. Uh-oh. Oh. Hmm, someone doesn't want that particular uh, character to survive. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's a 30. Yeah, I mean, that's a well, hit. Well, it's going to hit. It's a hit. It's not a crit. It's not he, a crit. He latches onto Basco's head and just starts chewing. Oh, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chew your stupid face off. <laughs> Sorry, he says... <laughs> oh, oh, double tens. Uh, that is 23 points of piercing damage as he just bites onto your head. Um, 20 hit points left. Oh my god, he's going to try and bite you again. He's going to try and bite you again. That is going to be a... It's a 29. Yeah. Oh, so Basco! It's crit, Basco. It's not a crit, but it's a, it's a hit. Uh, that is uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 points of damage. Two hit points left. Oh, oh no. no. That's all he can do, however, which means it is uh, who was going first out of Stuffy and Basco? Stuffy. Stuffy. It's Stuffy's go. Uh, Stuffy. Um is going to so this is well, who's attacked uh, the floater is floater. Floater. The floater has flown down and is now chewing on Basco's head okay how far away is the floater uh, he is currently 15 feet from you 15, so I need to make a move action you need to, to make a move him. action to get to him okay so I make a move action to get yep. to him um, and then I jump at him with my so the back of his head yeah is facing me okay and I'd, I'd chomp into the back of it and try and extract his brain oh with my bite teeth. on bite give me an attack yeah alright it's the bite cascade yeah <laughs> bite 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 oh dear <laughs> um that is uh 27 27 is a hit yes oh <laughs> why is it 27 okay because don't question it let's go it is just go just go, <laughs> just go, just go. Just go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. we'll explain um, afterwards we'll order five mm, yeah we'll get on the discord plus, it's fine okay fuck it alright look no. um, <laughs> 21 what 21 is still a hit plus two it doesn't matter guys alright doesn't matter doesn't matter he, he's also technically <laughs> flanked because he's he's attached to Basco yeah. rules, um, rules 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 uh, <laughs> rules 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 inside you finding it hurry up and fucking roll oh, the dice oh he's come from behind roll he's the me, dice he's giving me the old oh, human centipede oh. rules um so that is 28 points of 28 damage 28 points of damage Chewing on your brain, chewing on your brain. <coughs> Stuffy, brain. tell me how you want to kill the floater. Yeah. Suck his brains out oh. into my stuffiness, oh. and then I want to shit it out like black fluff. <laughs> Disappears down your yeah. fluffy moor. You say, you know who's slag? Yeah, who's, who, who's the real slag? And who's the real slag here? Hmm? Yeah, you. That's, That's right. A little fluff. Uh, is out uh, back of earth here. as you do this the skeleton slows to a halt and just stands and stops fighting you and just uh, uh, and just halts completely the owl bear um, <laughs> the owl bear uncommand uh, still following its commands runs over and just starts kicking the shit out of the skeleton <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right go, go, go on bear go on let's kick the bones owl the bones. also runs over and starts kicking the shit out of the skeleton with the owl bear <laughs> fucking piece yes, of kick the bones. shit Whoa, fuck the bones Ooh. cost me a lot of money you saved my li- yeah, I mean <laughs> you'll save my life <laughs> are, are you talking to, you, yeah yeah who, you, who do you talk to you, you. Me, me yeah no okay well I was just killing the guy I, just, listen, I like killing this means that we have the world breaker and that they want it the old whispering tyrant so we can be the heroes I will bring my friend the, the I hate wants. heroes no I know but we can be the anti-heroes wait yeah. wait, wait wait does the float have any fucking cash on him whatsoever because I don't think he's going to pay us <laughs> I mean he did I shit it he, he had no he did it inside me he uh, had no pocket you want to so, check me um, yeah, how nobody. do we get in touch with this whispering uh, tyrant yeah because he's my friend I'll call him I go s- do it 
I don't know how. Well, try. Just believe. <laughs> okay, I'll think about him very hard. <laughs> Tell me it works, Dan. You poop out. Best you friend. poop out the wallet um, that the uh, the floater had on him. It has three gold pieces in it. I'm taking it. You, you have that three gold pieces. Thanks. This is really um, really reasonable of you. Actually. Yeah, it's fine. I don't, no, uh, uh, it does not work. You don't <laughs> have it. You don't have the ability to contact thing. However, no, what no. you do have is a uh, it's an incredibly powerful weapon, uh, and seemingly nobody around to tell you what you can and can't do with it. Uh, oh, should we turn it on? Okay. So, in lieu of getting fucking paid, uh, do we, we have must- to like lay siege to the nearest city and like take its fucking gold? Let's fucking do it. Then. We need to give yes. this back to the West. I, 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 I will I mean, go I there, but we will, friend. you know. No. I mean, give it to my he friend. want us to try it out. Yes, we'll make take, sure it works. Okay, we can test it first. We'll Let's take go. it to your friend, but we might as well sure. kill him. What do we do? Just say on, on. Oh, it works! Oh, shit, it's, now, yeah, but this was worked. not well protected Whoa. at all. There were oh. three broccolis on a celery defending three this bro- against anything, and now you just say on and it just switches on. <laughs> what the schloss is going on here? Hey, yo, big world breaker. <laughs> See that town over there? Go and uh, destroy it for us. The, uh, the world breaker stands up, looks off out through the mists in the darkness, looks down at all of you, and then turns and walks away from you through the darkness, disappearing off into the mists on some kind of reign of oh. terror and leaves you all stranded completely behind <laughs> in the <Yeah>. mist <laughs> by yourself it all we, goes quiet oh, for no, a minute we did a bad thing. and you just hear the sound of its footsteps disappearing off into the darkness oh. and you're all just sort of left standing around together. Um, it's going to sink into the lake we should probably go follow I mean, it I mean I think well uh, I guess that's the ultimate evil isn't it we find the evil and then it leaves us behind <laughs> No, I, are you kidding me? I'm going to follow that in a boat and yeah, all the say. riches. Let's go, let's go. Follow Oops. the evil. <laughs> you all run off in search of more evil and your new super weapon to joyride around the world. And that is where we're going to leave it for the adventures of these horrible yeah. evil characters. Yeah. Oh. Danger Club, thank you, uh, thank you so much. Danger Lings, thank you so much for coming with us on this crazy journey, celebrating our 200th main show episode, our 400th podcast ever. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? It's yeah. so hot in this room. When we come back next week, we're going to be beginning our brand new story arc with the main Danger Club. You will have voted on what you want it to be, and we're going to be playing that adventure, a whole new series. If you know people, get them involved. Let's go. Let's uh, have some new people on board. Uh, we'll try and recap some of the bollocks that's been on uh, and maybe we'll check in with these evil characters yeah. from now on but for the 200th time uh, from James oh, 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 oh bye <laughs> from Ross <laughs> oh from Colin goodbye my friends uh, from Scott schloss you later uh, from Drummond <laughs> <laughs> And from me, you slags. Thank you very much for supporting us. We bloody love you, Dangerlings. We will see you next week. We love you. We love you. We love you, Dangerlings. We do. We love you, Dangerlings. We do. We love you, Dangerlings. We do. We do. Man Alive, what an episode that was! And this week's episode was made possible by our Patreons, but especially our Dangerling of the Week, Stephen Ribby! Thank you very much, Stephen. To get your name on the show, go to patreon.com forward slash Danger Club Podcast. Stephen Ribby! Stephen Ribby!